everybody, my name is Mihir Sue from Twin Tutorials and in this video I'm going to be teaching how to combine the like terms in an expression. So, let's roll the clip. Okay, so combining like terms is just when we add the coefficients of the like terms to simplify an expression. As we see here, we have an expression. So, let's combine the like terms together this time. <coughs> So let's combine all the like terms of x to start. So we have so we have 3x and we have minus 2 and we have yeah minus 2x. And for y we have minus no we just have 2 we have 2y and we have the 4y. And then finally for a coefficient, we just have the 5, so we don't need brackets. If we then write this as x plus 6x, sorry, plus 6y plus 5. Next, we have this little expression here. So, the thing about this expression is we have this bracket with the minus sign here. So, if in order to combine these like terms, we would need to open that bracket. So, down here, I'm going to show you how you would do that. So, I'm just going to rewrite it. Minus 34y. Okay, so what happens in such a case, the way, the way I like to remember it, let me just pick a color, and this negative sign basically multiplies with all of the units in this bracket. So this is a negative multiplied by the 2x, and this is a negative multiplied by negative 34y. So this would become... So we would write this as negative 2x, because this negative was multiplied by a positive number, and positive times negative is a negative. And then a negative times a negative number would be positive, so we'd write plus 34y. And this is how we open the brackets. So let's use that in the expression up there. Now let me just get rid of all of this. So, up here we would write x minus 2x plus 34y plus 10x minus 9y plus 4. Let me just add a space. So if you want to, if it helps you, you can use this brackets. You can use the brackets like that. But you can also skip that step and just see all of the x terms and add them together. But just so you guys can see it, I will now solve the rest of this expression. So we have x, we have a plus 10x, and we have, oh, and we have a minus 2x. So then this is added with all of our terms of y. So we have a 34y and we have a minus 9y. And now our coefficients for the whole thing is just 4. So if we then add these all up, so that would be 11x minus 2x, so that's 9x plus 34y minus 9y, that's 25y. And we have 4, so that's plus 4. <coughs> so, lastly, we will simplify this thing. So again, we have to open some kind of parentheses or brackets. So, let's write it down here. Write it down here, 3x 
minus 25y. So just as before, no, sorry, just minus 25. So just as before, we use the, the 4 would multiply with 3x and the 4 multiplies with negative 25. So what would happen is, what would happen is, this would become 12x minus 100. So we'll just write that up here. Gee, let me just get rid of that. So we have minus 9y plus 7x plus 11y plus here we would write 12x minus 100. As you get better and better at opening parentheses, you don't have to rewrite it and solve it like that. You can just start to see it and you're like, oh, 12x minus 100. But anyway, so let's combine our terms of x. So we have 7x. We have our plus 12x. And yep, that's it. Then we have plus negative 9y and 11y. So we'll go 11y minus 9y because it looks a little bit cleaner. And then our only coefficients are, sorry, our only constants are minus 100. So if we add these all up, we get 19x plus 2y minus 100. So everybody, that's it for combining like terms, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the button down below to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.